Hello everyone, back again with Thriller Recap. Today, I'm going to recap one of the action films from 2021, titled The Protégé. Before we get into the storyline, I would like to wish you all good health and happiness. Without further ado, let's get into the storyline. The movie begins in 1991 in Vietnam where an assassin named Moody Dutton silently enters a building and discovers several dead bodies lying on the floor. The confused Moody then immediately gathers the money while he suddenly hears a strange noise from the closet. He opens the closet, finding a young girl, covered in blood and pointing her gun at him. She reveals that she was kidnapped and killed them. Should be good to go now. Did he Moody disarms the girl and decides to take her with him. Thirty years later in Bucharest, a gangster named Vala is kidnapped and held for ransom. He is given the opportunity to call the mafia boss, begging him to pay the kidnappers three million dollars. A few moments later, one of the kidnappers, Anna, who turns out to be the girl from the beginning of the movie, rendezvous with the mafia gang and is taken to directly meet the mafia boss, Don Preda. The boss comes out from the pool and indeed presents Anna with the money she requested, but he threatens her with retaliation. However, she is not afraid at all, saying that she doesn't come there for the money, but for him. After that, Anna stabs the boss mafia in the neck and eliminates two of his henchmen. She escapes the mansion, passing through two fully armed guards effortlessly. As she walks away, the guards are assassinated by a sniper. Afterward, she picks up Moody and drives away safely while leaving Valley alone beside the road. Turns out that they are paid by someone to kill the Mafia boss, and Moody is a bit disappointed with her for not taking the free money from the Mafia boss earlier. Anna then returns to London where she continues living her life as a normal adult woman without anyone threatening her life despite being an assassin. That evening, she drives to Moody's mansion to celebrate his 70th birthday. Anna and the housekeeper surprise Moody, but the man rather chooses to play with his new drone. She presents him with a very limited edition guitar, and they bond over the evening. Still that evening, Moody brings Anna to his secret hideout where the man reveals that he spontaneously bought a bookstore for her since it has been her passion. As they discuss business, Moody gives Anna a mission to find Lucas Hayes, a target he has been looking for since 1998. The next morning, Anna goes to a dry cleaner's shop whose owner, Benny, is actually a hacker and IT expert. She asks him to find any related information about Moody's target. Turns out that Anna is currently working in a bookstore Moody bought, and she is visited by a man looking for a rare book named Michael Rembrandt. Unfortunately, the man can't find the book he is looking for and flirts with Anna instead. Before he leaves, he gives his name card to her, hoping that Anna will contact him someday. As he walks away, he quotes a phrase from a book, but Anna is not impressed. Anna meets Benny in the park where he reveals that Lucas Hayes was once in Vietnam around the time that the young Anna was kidnapped. Later that night, Anna visits Moody's mansion, finding the housekeeper has been killed. She asterisk explores through the house and finds the broken guitar. Finally, she discovers a dead body in the bathtub, presumed to be Moody's body after being shot ruthlessly. Before she leaves, Anna finds Moody's USB hanging in the drone. She immediately heads over to Benny's dry cleaners, only to find that he has been killed as well. Anna drives to the bookstore, preparing to flee from the city, but suddenly several assassins shoot her through the windows. She manages to avoid the gunfire and eventually eliminates the assassins. She drives away before the police come to the crime scene. The next day, Anna goes to an internet cafe to get deeper into Benny S. discovery about Lucas Hayes. She learns that Lucas S. father, Edward Hayes, was killed by a car bomb in Vietnam, coincidentally at the time Moody was there in 1991. Turns out that Lucas was a CEO in a company based in Vietnam and his partner, Jocino Vol, 
decided to take over the company after Lucas's death. To get more information, Anna has to face her past trauma and travels back to Vietnam. In the morning, Anna meets up with motorcycle gang leader and Moody's old friend, Billy Boy, and asks for his help to arrange a meeting with Vol. Before that, Anna sends a box of cigars to the CEO. However, since it is impossible to break into his office, Anna and the motorcycle gang confront Vol in his car, where she gives her name card to him and threatens him. A few moments later, Anna gets a call from the CEO who wants to have a little conversation with her. She immediately heads over to the office and meets Vol, who is accompanied by his attorney, Duquet. Anna urges Vol to tell her everything he knows about Edward and Lucas since she believes that Lucas was the one who assassinated Moody and the housekeeper. However, before Vol answers her, Duquette suddenly stands up and shoots the CEO in the head. Anna is cornered, but she still manages to slash Duquette in the face from the knife she smuggled in the cigar box and shoots the guards. Anna climbs up to the vent and escapes from the room while Duquette and his men keep firing at the ceiling. <laughs> However, Anna gets hit by a car and gets captured by Duquette. She is then taken to their hideout. He attempts to interrogate her in a nice way, but Anna remains silent. She is tortured and held captive for a while until Michael appears to calm her down. He reveals that he and Duquette work for the same boss and offers her some help, but Anna doesn't respond to him at all. Duquette tells Michael that killing Vol was necessary as he is a direct connection to their boss. I would feel if his boy one day ends up killing her before he finds her. As soon as Michael leaves, Duquette's henchman enters the room attempting to finish Anna off by suffocating her. Fortunately, she gains the upper hand and manages to knock everyone out before making her escape undetected. Anna goes to Billy's place and stays there for a night. She still believes that Lucas is the perpetrator and asks the man for help to track him down. The next day, Anna goes to a hospital where Lucas was admitted, only to find out that he is actually physically disabled, thus it's impossible for him to kill Moody and the others. Michael, who learns about her escape, calls Anna and asks her to go on a date with him. Afterward, it is revealed that Michael is actually working under Edward all this time, who is still alive and healthy. He urges Michael to finish the business with Anna before Sunday, the day of charity gala dinner. At the restaurant, while both of them pointing guns at one another under the table, Michael warns her to withdraw her intention to chase after the killer of Moody, but she insists as it is a personal matter to her. After the dinner date, Michael is confronted by several local thugs hired by Duquette, but turns out that Michael is skillful and manages to eliminate all of them. Meanwhile, Anna arrives at Duquette's place and tortures him. <laughs> Michael immediately goes to Duquette's place to pay him a visit. Upon arrival, he finds Duquette's dead body hanging and receives a call from Anna. She attempts to kill him too, but he dodges the shoot and runs away. They engage in a fight, but they end up having sexual intercourse on Duquette's bed. Make up your mind. Kill me. Be a waste of a nice bed. Before she leaves, Michael still warns her that she is not gonna make it, but she doesn't care. On her way out, 
Anna is shot by one of the thugs, but suddenly a mysterious man shows up and rescues Anna. Turns out that the man is Moody, who is somehow still alive, and takes Anna away. He treats her wound while explaining to her how he managed to get away from the assassination. He tells her that he had to fake his death by using the hitman's body as a decoy, making the authorities think that it was his dead body. The next morning, they reunited with Billy Boy. He shows them the detailed landscape of the island where the charity gala dinner will be held, including the security information and an emergency bunker for Edward. Meanwhile, Edward is terrified and orders his henchmen to add additional personnels on the island. All the staff are also given a bracelet for precaution. The night comes and all the invited guests have arrived. One of the men is confident that nothing is gonna happen tonight and underestimates the woman, but Michael warns him. Anna infiltrates the gala dinner in disguise as a waitress. On the other side, Michael, who stays cautious and focused all the time, manages to spot Anna as she doesn't wear any bracelets and waits for her move. As Edward gives his speech, Anna attempts to assassinate Edward, but she misses the shot as Michael thwarts her. The failed attempt causes panic in the ballroom and Anna escapes during the ensuing chaos while Edward runs into the emergency bunker. Michael keeps chasing Anna wherever she goes as everything she touches leaves a bloodstain. On the other side, Moody successfully breaks into the bunker after he acquired the door's passcode with his drone. Turns out that Edward hired Moody several years ago to fake his death, and now Moody comes to him to really finish the job. Edward reveals that he arranged his demise in order to protect his son, Lucas, from his misdeeds and crimes he had done. But Moody doesn't care at all since he has lost his respect for the old man, accusing him as an evil creature. At the end of the conversation, he presents Edward a time bomb for attempting to kill him previously. You don't look so good. I don't know. The chances are I'm beginning either. Thing. Just as Michael corners the dying Anna, Moody detonates the bomb, which blows the entire bunker, killing himself and Edward in the process. while Anna uses this opportunity to escape from the island. A flashback shows the night when Anna witnessed some insurgents kill her parents, and they brought her to a building at the beginning of the movie. When an insurgent briefly left her alone in a room, Anna grabbed a gun on the table and reassembled it. After that, she killed everyone in the room before Moody eventually discovered her. Back to the present day, Michael finds Anna, who has been waiting for him in the building she got kidnapped. He offers an alternative way so that both of them could survive, but she refuses. They draw their guns on each other. The scene cuts to outside where two gunshots are heard. A few moments later, Anna exits the building without Michael. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.